Welcome to the Daily Business and Finance Show. Freeze on new U.S. LNG export plants, Biden's latest move, Steward Health's restructuring woes send medical properties tumbling, Red Sea oil tanker faces Houthi attack, a significant escalation, Tesla's post-earning skid. Could a share buyback plan turn the tide? Intel's bumpy road ahead revealed in weak guidance, SoFi Technologies Q4 earnings set to surpass expectations, semiconductor sector takes a hit following Intel's dour outlook and Amazon Prime Video set to cash in billions with new ad feature. Stay tuned after this short ad break as we delve deeper into these headlines. The administration led by President Biden has put a pause on issuing new licenses for export plants of U.S. liquefied natural gas, also known as LNG. This decision is awaiting a review concerning the effects these plants have on climate change. For projects that were pending are impacted by this move, which environmental groups perceive as a triumph. The Department of Energy will conduct this review to evaluate both economic and environmental repercussions, and it will continue past the election scheduled for November 5th. Shares of Medical Properties Trust experienced a close to 1% drop after it was announced that their biggest tenant, Steward Healthcare System, has brought on board restructuring advisors. This development follows actions taken by MPW to recoup unpaid rents from Steward. Currently, Steward is contemplating strategic transactions as a means to enhance liquidity and re-establish its balance sheet. A missile struck a fuel tanker belonging to the Trafigura Group, igniting a fire on board in the Red Sea. This substantial attack was claimed by Yemen's Houthi rebels. The event has caused more disruption to shipping than the initial phases of COVID-19, leading to an increase in Brent oil prices. As a result, ships are now circumventing this area, which is causing an escalation in both travel time and expenses. Tesla has been removed from the best ideas list of Wedbush securities due to an unclear forecast for the year. While still holding a buy rating, analyst Dan Ives proposed methods to enhance investor confidence. These include a $10 billion share buyback and the establishment of an X holding structure for artificial intelligence initiatives. Tesla's free cash flow in the fourth quarter was $2.06 billion, with a cash position at quarter end of $29.1 billion. So far this year, the company's shares have decreased by 26%. Intel's guidance for 2024, which is weaker than anticipated, has sparked worries on Wall Street. This is in spite of the advancements made under the leadership of CEO Pat Gelsinger. The core business of Intel, which includes PCs and servers, continues to be lukewarm. Significant profits from newly acquired foundry clients are not predicted until late 2025 or possibly 2026. Following this news, Intel's shares fell almost 10% during pre-market trading. Furthermore, the company is facing heightened competition in the data center industry from competitors such as NVIDIA and AMD due to a shift in spending towards artificial intelligence. SoFi Technologies, a firm specializing in online personal financing, is scheduled to announce its fourth quarter earnings on the 29th of January. The company is projected to surpass estimates, thanks to a robust U.S. economy and decreasing inflation rates. Even though there has been a 22.4% decrease in share value this year, SoFi continues to experience strong growth in new customer acquisition. Analysts maintain an optimistic outlook regarding the company's potential for profitability. Shares in semiconductor companies experienced a downturn following Intel's disappointing forecast, which resulted in an 11% decrease in its value. The firm's estimated revenue and earnings per share for the first quarter fell below anticipated figures, prompting several firms to downgrade their ratings. This had a knock-on effect on competitors AMD and NVIDIA, who also witnessed minor declines. In addition, KLA Corporation, a manufacturer of chip equipment, provided a lower-than-expected forecast that further contributed to the sector's slump. Western Digital also added to the gloomy outlook with its report of a seventh consecutive quarterly revenue drop. From the 29th of January, Amazon Prime Video is set to introduce advertising. This decision is anticipated to generate billions in revenue. 
According to estimates from Wall Street firms, ad revenues could potentially hit $1.3 billion within this year and escalate up to $2.3 billion by the year 2025. Initially, this feature will be available in four countries, the United States, United Kingdom, Germany, and Canada. Users have the option to opt out of ads by paying an additional monthly fee. And that's a wrap for today's The Daily Business and Finance Show. Stay informed, stay invested. Until next time, keep making those smart money moves. I'm Montgomery Jones. And I'm Amalia Dupre. Until tomorrow dawns, take care and goodbye for now. This content is sourced from the Seeking Alpha website, so support our podcast by becoming a Seeking Alpha Premium subscriber. See the show notes page for links to sign up. This episode is produced by Classic Studios. This podcast provides information only and should not be construed as financial or business advice. Check out our other podcasts in our network at classicstudios.com.